Hello. Good morning. I'm so excited. <laughs> it has been a hot minute since I have filmed a Disney mystery pin unboxing review haul. And it's finally here. I'm so excited. I already have such a rush and I haven't even like opened any of the boxes yet. I'm just like that excited. I probably also have an insane amount of red lipstick all over my teeth and I probably will for the remainder of this video. So let's just accept that and move forward today. I spent a little too much money on eBay again. This is probably one of the most highly requested videos on my channel. When you bring it back your pin unboxings, where are the pin unboxings? I miss your pin unboxings. I do too. And I'm so happy to be doing it again today. I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes or nine boxes off of eBay. And then I also bought a pin because I have zero self-control. If you would like to see any of my other pin unboxings, I'm going to list my Disney playlist in the description below. I think that this one is number 10 or number 11 or number 12. So if you have a lot of time on your hands and you want to see a whole lot of Disney pin unboxings, just check out, just check out my Disney playlist in the description below. Clearly, I can't make words right now because my excitement level is at an all-time high. So I'm going to cut this intro short and we're just going to get right on into it. Okay, today we are working with the current mood. We are working with the Haunted Mansion Glow in the Dark 2020 set, Epcot International Food and Wine Festival 2019, the Disney Princess Mystery Collection, Monsters University, the one that I am the most excited about. This is the Disney Disguises Limited Edition Mystery Set Reveal and Conceal. We're getting the Tiny Kingdom. There are supposed to be three in here, I believe, as opposed to two, but I also heard that these pins are like really tiny, hence the name, but I heard that they're like very, very tiny. And then we're working with the limited release Disney Stocking Stuffers Mystery Pin Collection. And lastly, a pin that I've spent far too much money on eBay, like far too much money on, but I really wanted it for my Beauty and the Beast collection. So as always, I'm going to put all the pin boxes right in the center and I'm just going to pick some out at random. So the first box that we're going to be working with is the Current Mood Collection. This is what it looks like. It has Stitch right on the front, which is my homeboy. I love Stitch, one of my absolute favorite characters. And if you can see that, if it will focus, here are some of the current mood pins that you can receive. So I, of course, want Stitch. I would love a Boo. I would love Cheshire Cat. Sebastian's really cute. Thumper. I mean, they're all really cute. I think the one that I want the most is Stitch because, I mean, obviously, I'm obsessed with Stitch. Here we go. All right. These are big. And I also have my scissors. I came prepared because you guys know how I am with trying to open up these bags. So I'm going to chop off the top of these bags and wish for Stitch. The very first pin is, <laughs> like, honestly, what? I got Stitch. Oh my God, this is so cute. Look at this guy. Oh, he's so cute. And that is my current mood. He's like pulling his eyes down. He looks like he's tired and I'm a new mom and it looks like, it looks like me in the morning. I'm like, just pour the caffeine straight into my eyeballs. He's so cute. This is a great start to this video. Okay, I don't even care what this one is right now. Who is this? Is this Jiminy Cricket? I can't tell. All right, I don't really care because I got Stitch, but the next one, I think that's Jiminy Cricket, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's Jiminy Cricket. These are big pins too. And in the stores at Disney, it's $14.99 for this pack. But on eBay, it's like $22 or $25 for this pack. It's so annoying. That was a great start to this video. We're gonna move on now to the Disney Princess Mystery Collection. 
And fun fact about me, I don't really even collect Disney pins anymore. I just love the thrill of these videos. I have two primary collections. I primarily collect Beauty and the Beast pins, so anytime I get a Beauty and the Beast related pin, it goes on my Beauty and the Beast pin board. And then I have one other pin board that is just like meaningful pins, so pins that we got on our engagement, on our honeymoon, that just like have meaningful value. So all the other pins I really just either sell or I give away. I just love the thrill of these videos. So I got this box in hopes to get, of course, Belle because it is one of the pins that I actually will collect. You can get Rapunzel, Cinderella, Aurora, Snow White, Jasmine, Ariel, Belle, Tiana, Pocahontas, and Mulan or Mulan. I again really would like to have Belle but besides that I love all the princesses and I don't really have a preference I'm going to love them no matter what but I'm only going to keep it if it is Belle so let's open these bags up and let's hope for a B please first one is pink <gasps> it's not Belle I know I got really excited it's not Belle but it is Mulan and Christmas I have to make sure that she doesn't watch this video, but she specifically has been asking for a Mulan pin. And I got a Mulan pin! For Christmas, we bought her a bunch of mystery pin packs. She loves Disney mystery pins. I'm gonna have to make sure to tell her mom not to watch this video until after Christmas, unless I put this up after Christmas. But she has been asking for a Mulan pin. And I got you, girl. I got you a Mulan pin. These are really pretty. They're like glitter and shimmery and glistening and the quality is really, really nice. Oh my God, it's really, really nice. I like it a lot. Okay, sold with this pack as well. I don't even need Belle right now. If I get Belle, that'd be great, but I don't need Belle. And I didn't even cut it off and here we go. It's not Belle. It is Pocahontas. So I did not get Belle, but that is okay. I got Mulan and is going to make my niece really happy. And that is way more important than me getting a Belle pin. I do have to say again though, these pins are very, very nice quality. I love the glitter and the quality. It's like really nice. You don't usually get that nice of quality from like Walt Disney World pin packs, but these are really nice. I like it a lot. Let's move on to this pack because I'm very interested. This is the Disney Tiny Kingdom Walt Disney World Series 1. So again, you're supposed to get three pins in here, but they're supposed to be super, super tiny. The pins on the back are so adorable. I definitely have some that I really want. I really want any of the food items, specifically the premium Mickey bar with the bite taken out of it. That's probably the one that I want the most. I would love to get the mini ears. I like the magic band. I like the orange bird, the Mickey or the mini. I love the Mickey wreath. It's so, so cute. The Christmas tree, Zerg, like they're all so cute. So let's open up. I'm gonna rip open these bags and see what we are getting. All right, let me get this open. The first pin, I got mini, these are super tiny. Okay, the first pin that I got is the Mini Mouse Ears, BB Brooke, they're coming for your brand. These are super tiny, like the backing is bigger than the actual pin. I don't know if this is worth the price and I don't even know if my camera is going to pick up on this because they're so, it's so small. Can you see that? Like look at the backing compared to the actual pin. I mean it's cute but it's, it's really tiny. It's like really really tiny. Alright, next pin that I'm getting, Harper Mill. Am I like a terrible Disney fan? I don't even know what that is. And it's Walt Disney World. I don't have a clue what Harper Mill is, but this one's bigger. It's definitely bigger than the one that I just shared, the mini ears. I like the mini ears one more. This one is bigger, but I don't really know what this one is. Somebody let me know in the comments what this is. Let me get the last pin out and let me cut open the bag. The last pin that I'm getting... <gasps> These are so 
so tiny. I know the box is called Tiny. What is it called? Tiny Kingdom. These are so tiny, but I got the premium Mickey Mouse ice cream bar. That's the one I wanted. It's so I feel like if I was to put this on a lanyard, it would get lost in lanyard. Let me see if I can even get my camera to focus on this because it's it's so tiny. But it's so cute. I had to check the price of this one. The price of this one is $20 in the park, so that means I probably spent like $27 on eBay. Not worth $27 for these three tiny little pins. It was fun and they're cute, but I mean... Let's move on to the next pin pack we're gonna go into the 2020 no it's not 2020 yet but i just really wanted this pin pack on this pin pack you can get uh jack jack you can get chip which is the one that i really want for my collection you can get mushu which you never really see mushu i think that's pretty cool jack skellington bear rabbit you can get winnie the pooh sebastian you can get simba i would love chip i would also like jack skellington and i would also love winnie the pooh i would like all of them mushu would be really cool too because you never really see mushu these are really big as well let's see if i can rip it open nope can't rip it open let's go into the scissors scissor one and cut two the first one that i am getting is mushu <laughs> yay that's so cute. And the quality is really nice. I don't know if like Disney took into consideration how many people were complaining about the quality because the quality of the pin packs that I've opened in previous boxes, they're good, but they're not this good. Like this is really nice quality and you never see Mushu. This is awesome. I'm very, very excited. And the next one is, okay. I think this is Bear Rabbit, right? I didn't get Chip and that's okay, but I'm pretty sure this is Bear Rabbit from Splash Mountain. I really like that ride as well. I used to hate it because I hated getting wet and then I went on it again and I was like, this ride is so much fun. Ooh, that was a good pack. Mm, I like these a lot. <laughs> the mess that I have on the floor of my bedroom right now is insane and I'm only like three or four boxes in. The next one that we're going to open up is the Haunted Mansion Glow in the Dark Mystery Pin Collection. I think it's so cool that they're going to glow in the dark. Haunted Mansion is my all time favorite ride of any ride in all of Walt Disney World in all four of the parks or six of the parks if you wanna include the water parks, my favorite ride. So I'm definitely going to keep one of these for like my personal board and then maybe the next one I will give out. You can get the actual Haunted Mansion which would be so cool. You can get the bride, Madame Leota, you can get the graveyards, the frights, the hitchhiking ghosts you can get like so many different ones and again they glow in the dark let's cut these open and see what we are getting the first one that we are getting what am i getting i can't even tell <gasps> the these are huge these are huge pins i got the haunted mansion i got the haunted mansion with the signature wallpaper in the back <laughs> this is a great video like this is a very good video and it has the bats on it too this one is so big all right i'll see if i like this one more or the second one but this one's so pretty i love love the purple wallpaper one of my best friends shauna is a huge haunted mansion fan like me and we always talked about like getting a house and just decorating it completely head to toe in haunted mansion so this is the next one Okay, so I'm getting the tombstones. Not my absolute favorite, but I already got the Haunted Mansion actual building, and that's all that matters. This one's cute too, and it does have the purple wallpaper background. So I will be giving this one away or giving it to a loved one. We're going to interrupt this unboxing to share what I spent on eBay for this pen. I really wanted it, and then I realized it came from Loungefly, and I I think I spent like 20 or $25 on this pin like an idiot and I again realized it is Disney licensed but it's from Loungefly so it's probably $10 at Loungefly. 
I probably just paid triple the price for this pin, but I don't have a lounge fly near me and I didn't even think to look on their website. Regardless, here's the pin. It's so cute. It's one of my favorite scenes from Beauty and the Beast and I kind of bought this pin being like, hey, if I buy all of these pin boxes and I don't get any Beauty and the Beast pins, at least I'll have one to put on my pin board. So as of right now, I haven't gotten any Beauty and the Beast pins. Here is the one I'm going to put on my pin board. It's really cute and the quality is very nice as well. So let's move on to another potential Disney Beauty and the Beast pin that I could put on my board. This is the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival 2019 limited release. Adam and I went to this about three or four weeks ago with Landon for the first time and it was so much fun. You can get Donald Duck, you can get Duffy, Minnie Mouse, you can get Grumpy, Winnie the Pooh, Chip and Dale, Jiminy Cricket, you can get Lumiere, which is the one that I want, Mickey Mouse, Stitch, Goofy. I obviously want Lumiere, but any of the other ones I'll be so happy with as well. Okay, <laughs> very quick side story. Last year I did the 2018 one and they only had 10 pavilions and I was very upset about that. They only had 10 pins in there and this year they have all 11. I was like furiated by that last year that they couldn't add one more pin to include every single pavilion. Maybe they watched my video and they heard me. Obviously they didn't, but it's really cool that they have all 11 pavilions represented here now. So I want Lumiere, I also want Stitch. Duffy would be cool because you don't see Duffy very often. And these are very, very big pins. Oh, it's Donald from Mexico and he has tacos. Tacos are my favorite food. Oh, I think I have to keep this one. This one's so cute. Adam and I love the Mexican pavilion. So maybe I will keep this one because it has like sentimental value and has tacos on it. A Disney pin with tacos on it. That is a grand slam in my personal opinion. Next up, Mickey Mouse and it's the American Pavilion and he's eating a lobster roll. Are they all eating food? I didn't even think about that. Oh my God, they're all eating food. Stitch has sushi. Oh my God, this is so cool. He's eating a lobster roll, that's so cute. Oh my God, Chip and Dale are eating the beer cheese soup. I should have bought all of these packs. These are so, so cute. And I did find that Lumiere pin on eBay and it wasn't that expensive, it was like $12. So if anything, I can just go back on eBay and purchase that pin for myself. This one's cute, but I'm gonna gift it away. Definitely keeping the Donald one, faux show. <laughs> This is a super random one. It is a Monsters University. I have done this one here on my channel before. I haven't watched Monsters University in years and I don't even know all the characters' names. I know they're all from the fraternity, but I want Mike or Sully. I think one of them is Art. I believe the purple guy is Art and they also have the cute little Randall as well. So I would like any of those three. This is what the box looks like. And these are all the characters that you can get. They're very colorful and they're very, very cute but I apologize in advance if I get some characters that I don't remember their names. I just know that they're all from the fraternity. Okay, let's, that one feels really small, which would be Mike, which would be lovely, because that's one of the ones that I want. I'm like cutting into the pin. Y'all, y'all. I got Sully! He's so cute and this is a big pin! This is one of the ones I wanted! Such a thrill! If I get Mike too, that would be amazing. It's not Mike, it's definitely... Okay, I think that this is... I don't know this character's name, but I'm pretty sure this is the pig that they like set loose as one of... What are those things called if you're in a fraternity and they make you do like funny little things or like really bad things. I think that this is like the pig that they let loose that I think Mike has to go grab. Again, I haven't watched that movie in so long. Not a huge fan of this one, but it's very cute. And I'm pretty impressed with the quality as well. Down to our final two, I'm going to save the one that I'm the most excited for, for last, which means we're going to move on into the Disney Disguises limited edition mystery set. I know I said I was the most excited about this one, 
but the stocking stuffers, that's the one that I'm probably the most excited for. So this one, you get to have a reveal pin, you pick the one that you want. I picked Cogsworth, so I'm definitely going to get a Beauty and the Beast pin. It's right there, and then they also give you a conceal pin. And I'm not exactly sure what the theme is. I know it's disguises, so I think that it's all Disney characters dressed up as other things. So we have right here, Cogsworth dressed up as a pirate. And then they also have a bunch of question marks on the back, so I don't even know what I could possibly get in this pin pad. So let's start off with the conceal, I meant the reveal pin. Look how cute. He's going right up on my pin board after I'm done filming. And then again, I have no idea what this could even be, so I'm just gonna open it up and see. I don't care about this pin. I think this is from Jungle Book. It's not blue. Maybe it is blue. I haven't watched Jungle Book since I was like seven. Whatever. I got the one that I really wanted and that's all that matters. I don't even know what he's dressed up as. He has like coconuts on his mouth, a little straw skirt. I got Cogsworth. It's a win in my book. Drum roll, please. The final pin pack. Look at the packaging. Packaging game on point. It is the limited release 2019 Disney Stocking Stuffer Mystery Pin Collection. I'm pretty sure that this is the pack that you could get at the Very Merry Christmas Party. It is $20, I believe, at the Very Merry Christmas Party. I went to the Very Merry Christmas Party this year and I didn't think about buying it. I bought it on eBay for like $32. So smart, Allison. Really, really smart. I don't care, it's so cute. In this pack you can get all little items that are considered stocking stuffers. The one that I want the most is a scrump. It's like a little scrumped stuffed animal. This is what it looks like in the front and then I will show you the items that you can get in the back. So they're all little items that are considered items that you would throw in a stocking to stuff them. You can get the little carrot microphone that they have in Zootopia, Mickey socks, a Jack Skellington little beanie, you can get a honey pot, Minnie Mouse headphones, a Baymax mug, there's so many ones. I really, really want strong, but I'd be happy with any of these, they're all so cute. And I think that you get two in here. They don't feel huge, but they don't feel like super, super tiny either. So the first one that I am getting, oh, it's cute. It's Mickey Mouse socks for your toes when it's cold and when it snows. That's cute. Mickey is my favorite classic character, so I'm all in on this one. All right, the last one doesn't feel very round at all. It's definitely not scrum. I like it though. It is the taking care of your to-do list one carrot at a time. It is the carrot, not microphone, carrot like recorder that Judy Hopps uses in Zootopia. It's super, super cute. Becca, if you're watching this video, let me know if you want this. I know you collect Zootopia and it is your absolute favorite movie. So if you want this, let me know. I'll save it for you and I will send it out to you ASAP. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I had so much fun. These are honestly some of my favorite videos to film. I wish I could film one of these like every single month. They're just so expensive to film. If you have any suggestions on where I can get these pin boxes or pin packs outside of the parks that aren't gonna cost me double the cost of the actual box. I would love to know because I would love to film more of these. It's just, it's so much fun to me. I just absolutely love these videos and I think that you guys enjoy them as well which makes me really, really happy. Anywho, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day and I hope that you all have a wonderful holiday. I love you so much and I am so grateful for each and every single one of you. I again hope that you're having a beautiful day and I look forward to talking to you all soon. Bye guys.